Hi, Riyadh here. Um, this time of year is when everyone goes back to school. Um, it started a couple of weeks ago and it always reminds me of when I was in school. I had some degree of bullying pretty much the whole way through. Some of it was just the odd name here or there um, shouted at me across the playground. Other stuff was a little bit more serious where I was being humiliated in front of groups of people because of how I talked or how I dressed to the very, very occasional time where um, my head might be pushed into the front of my locker uh, and the metal would hit me there. So my, my childhood uh, in school, I absolutely hated. I hated every minute of it. All I wanted to do was be this age right now. I thought I would be a guinea pig for you to show that after time passes, your bullies end up just being normal people. They're not evil. It's not some scar that should remain there forever. I'm going to try and call one of them today. I haven't spoken to this guy in years. I got his number from a friend of a friend of a friend and um, I'm not calling him to attack him. I want to uh, I want to find out why he did what he did. I texted him earlier to say that I was going to call him. Um, he doesn't know what it's about though. I'm actually shaking. <laughs> Hello? Hi. Oh, how are you doing? <laughs> good, how was your night? Uh, are you able to talk? Uh, yeah, for right. Um, well, I am calling you because um, you may or may not know that um, in school, like from first year uh, up till even like midway through fourth year, I, I was actually really afraid of you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I, um, if I, like, saw you in the corridor or whatever, I would, like, turn and go a different way just because I, I didn't want to, like, walk past you a lot of the time. And it was, it, it, I just want to put, like, a bit of closure on that for me. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't really intend for that, like, ever to be like that at all. Like, I obviously didn't know that you felt like that at all because I never intentionally, like, would say, like, purposely try to make you feel like that or I never, I never tried to do anything like that. I would remember um, being at my locker, let's say, and you and, and a few of the lads um, would, would walk by together, the rugby guys, and I would always like hear stuff said about me. The usual names, you know, like faggot and oh, you're queer, you're puff, and I think I just sort of like laughed it off and then walked away. And that's, yeah. like, I kept doing that. I, you probably noticed, like, I became kind of a class clown in school. Most of the reason why I became this clown or this funny guy was because that was my defence. That was how yeah. I would, like, escape. So did you, did you know that you were um, causing me to feel I that way? I don't think we intentionally made a point of kind of flagging you or kind of going out of our way to purposely kind of pick on you. I think it was just a general... Like, obviously, from your side of things, it's obviously that, like, we were picking on you, but I don't think there was ever a... A like, conscious, like, let's go and get re like, like, let's go flag re for the last kind of thing. I think it was just, you were there at the time, and, like, you gotta, you gotta flag someone if you get me kind of thing. If I came up to you back then and said, here, um, this is really hurting me, could you please not do that? Yeah, like, I'd say if you'd come up to a group of us and said that, it probably, like, Okay. It's probably, it's probably different from person to person. Like, some, like I obviously couldn't stop everyone else from doing it. But yeah. Me personally, I would have probably would have stopped. Everyone flagged each other. So you know, yeah. You obviously you feel bad about it. But you just kind of that it is kind of what it is. Like, mm -hmm. you know, you kind of just have to take it on the chin. I think it's it in my situation. It was probably different because it was slagging about something that was so um, central to who I was and who I was becoming. And you know, like I stayed in the closet for uh, four years beyond when I realised what I was because I was afraid of reactions from you, the boys, and a few others. If someone said to me, like, oh, you're gay or whatever, it wouldn't have, I wouldn't have been a second thought of such to me or whatever, but it's obviously more like that than for you, so that probably was a lot harder. 
is it a thing where difference is something that's picked up to, picked up on by people when uh, you want to slag someone? Is it? You're gonna find something about them, and you're just gonna like pick up on that kind of thing. You have a great idea, but it could be some more. Like, I can I can't really think of an example, but there's someone else like you just be like, oh, he, I don't know, he has like stupid hair or something like a ginger, like like that kind of thing. But I think it's just it's just a point that you pick on. It's, it's the first thing that comes to your head, and then that's it. Kind of like it's very easy to get a nickname or something like that. But you just pick up on something, and then that just kind of sticks with such. Do you think um, it's possible for like people to move on um, beyond that point and become friends and you know be cool with each other after? Yeah, until well, the phone call, I thought we were cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like, uh, you know, we. Yeah, no, yeah, no, definitely. Like, I think it, it, it don't affect me. You know, it'd be hard to kind of hold a grudge. I think we've all kind of grown up now. Yeah. Uh, like I said, I'm like, sorry, I obviously didn't know that. That's what happened. Actually, feel too kind of bad about it now, for sure. And look at. I think what you did today um, shows like what what a, a sound good guy you are. Um, you know, like not everybody would be so open to talking about that. If there is anyone watching now who is going through um, some similar shit that I went through, what what advice would you give to them to do? Like it might be bad in things, but like I think as the years go on, you kind of realise that it's just I think the play work itself out. Thanks so much for uh, chatting to me. Like that—that that was a huge help um, to me, and I know probably a lot of other people too. So, yeah, I'm happy with it. Thanks. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, bye. Bye. That was uh, a bit intense. Um, I don't think that could have gone better than it did. He—he uh, he genuinely was sorry, and I don't think he even realised the effect that it had on me, and it, it still has on me. But I think now. It's very like therapeutic or what's the word they use, cathartic or something. Um, if you are going through anything like this uh, right now or you have done in the past, um, I've done some work with an amazing charity. Um, they do some work in the UK and Ireland, the Anti-Bullying Pro and the Diana Award. You can go and check out uh, their Twitter account and their website and all the great work they do in the description below. And um, if you like this video and you want more from me, Make sure you hit subscribe, hit like, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching, bye. Now when it comes to products, my personal preference is all natural. <laughs> Stay hydrated. I recommend this one. I swear by this one. Love it. I recommend just like, you know, a, a normal lighter. You just sort of like, 